All right, hello everyone. Um, I want to share a word that my that I that I got just this morning, and then also um, share a dream that my wife had, along with a song that she heard when she woke up. So, um, she shared this morning as we were like having breakfast and coffee. She said that. Her and I both, and I'm already feeling the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Holy Spirit. <laughs> anyway, so her and I both were kind of like hanging out. And then across the way, she said there was sort of like a, a gray area. And then she saw this giant clock, like this huge, huge clock, like bigger than us, like five feet in diameter, I guess. I don't know. Huge, she said. And uh, she did say like five feet in diameter, but she said it was just this huge clock. And then there was like a landing under it and a stairwell going down to the left. And she said she kind of saw a lady. Um, she didn't give me much description on the lady. But then she said to me, look, look, do you see what we're seeing? And she said she saw Jesus. I'm being filled with all these So she said she saw Jesus at the landing and he was carrying his cross, a cross, his cross, I guess. Um, she didn't say he looked, you know, it wasn't like he looked like after the crucifixion, but he, he, she knew it was Jesus. And basically he was about to come down the stairs carrying his cross. Um, and then she said she woke up with a song in her head and, you know, the Lord always has a sense of humor, but, um, it's, um, that song, give me a ticket for an airplane, ain't got time to take a fast train, lonely days are gone, I'm a going home, my baby wrote me a letter, so I don't know, maybe we're going home, I don't know, the Lord has given me some songs that, there's no reason why she would have this song in her head. Like it's just out of the blue, just like several times when I've had songs out of the blue or I've heard choirs singing. And, um, so anyway, I think that's super encouraging. And then this is the word that I received this morning. So here goes. Oh, ye who have remained, ye who have remained faithful, ye who testify of my name, longing that none perish, ye shall be exalted. Ye who long for his appearing, ye have remained faithful in your tribulations, and even so the signs, the troubling signs, revealing the time of trouble that soon come upon the earth. Ye have remained faithful unto the Lord, and so, even in your trials, testify of my name. For there is none other under the sun. Ye have sought and ye have found, not having ignored my calling, for I called, and ye answered, and thus ye shall be spared, for so it is written, the days be cut short for the elect. So then, prepare the way, and present thyselves holy, for the true and living God shall be known at his revealing. And I'm really feeling the Holy Spirit, you guys. Um, um, again, no one knows the day or the hour, but we do know the seasons, and... You know, in the last days, he says he's going to pour out his spirit on all flesh, and that's been evident for a long time. For me, in 2015, I heard the time of my coming is at hand, and we've just been given so many dreams and signs and warnings and words and things, again, that I haven't even known what they meant. Um, so again, you know, whatever you're into, I would say ask the true and living God be revealed unto you. Um, and, you know, again, he'll make himself known to you and believe in Jesus Christ and what he did for us and be filled with his Holy Spirit and be led by a spirit of truth, spirit of truth. Pray about that because there's people proclaiming to be Christians and all this kind of thing. And they're contradicting what I'm telling you. And it's in the word. It's all in the word. Um, so one thing I think we can all agree on. You know, if you're truly seeking the Lord and you're truly longing to know him is that you can pray 
And th again, discern the spirits as in 1 John 4, any spirit that doesn't confess Jesus Christ came to earth in flesh and blood as a man is not a God but an antichrist. And then you'll be led by the spirit of truth. And we are called to good works. We're called to bear fruit. And we're not saved by works. We're not kept by works. However, um, you know, again, I think it's James 2. Abraham was justified in his works. So, like, it's not, you can't earn your way. Nothing you can do. But your works and the fruit are evidence that you know the Lord because he changes you. It, ch it changes. You change overnight. All kinds of testimony about people being released of addictions and sexual sin and alcoholism and, you know, <laughs> I'm being filled with the Holy Spirit. All right. All right, you guys. Um, just, you know, again, stay vigilant. Stay ready. Witness as much as you can. Talk about the Lord. Um, you know, the word says, if you deny me for, before man, I will we'll deny you before my Father in heaven. And Jesus, the image of the invisible God, you know, God with us, Emmanuel, um, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. It's in the book. I read the King James. I don't know what book you read, but it's all there. So abandon your religion and seek the Lord and seek his truth. And, uh, you know, I guess that's all I got to say. God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.